Alright guys, I think I know what this is. I think Watch King accidentally sent me two of them because they both came in on the same day and there'd be no reason for that. So I may have to let them know. It's not going to feel kind of bad. Yep, so I already had one. And it is really nice. Let's see if it's the same color. Yep, nice leather pouch. It's a travel case, which is really cool. That is so nice. Totally different than my other one. Like, completely different. But so nice. Alright guys, so... This watch, the Crew, is actually a very, very cool watch. Uh, I have to say, I mean, I guess before I even get into it, right? I should first talk about it. It's kind of cool. It comes with this leather pouch, which is actually very nice. Uh, this is perfect for travel. I mean, I can't say it enough. Um, this is great, right? You can have two watches. Uh, it's intentional. This is something you would actually use. So very, very cool. Uh, the box, not worth mentioning. Uh, it's just a box. Um, and not a good one at that, but that's okay. But this watch, uh, I am super impressed with it. Um, I actually ended up getting about three Charles Hutton watches, and I'm impressed with all of them. I mean, they are truly fantastic. Uh, I am so impressed and a little bit dismayed because I don't like to keep these watches. But, uh, I mean, what can I do? Like, how can I not keep this watch? I mean, just look at this watch. This watch has got so much appeal to it. Uh, it really, really is a truly fantastic watch. Um, and, and also, by the way, if you notice that this picture is a little bit clear, or if you um, haven't noticed, then you should check it out. I finally figured out how to record in 4K. Um, it was just a setting. <laughs> so, there you go. This is a 4K video. Very cool. Um, you may have noticed, and I'll get right into it. When you look at this... Does this look like a quartz to you? Be honest. Does this look like a quartz to you? It is. It's the uh, VH63. And I'll show, I'll start putting pictures of it up there, which I know is premature, I normally do it later, but it was something that I thought was really cool because all of these Charles Hutton watches that I uh, have all have the mecha quartz movements in them. And one of the things that I just think is just so fantastic is the way this watch ticks. Um, one of the things that makes mechanical watches so nice is the way that they tick. Um, <laughs> you know, that's that's just what it is. It's, it's the mechanical aspect of it. And these movements by Seiko attempts to basically recreate uh, the the behavior of a mechanical watch in a quartz uh with quartz mechanics um you know like i don't even know where to start with this watch because i'm all over the place but it is truly a fantastic movement um not hugely expensive but you know what they're not cheap either the movements are about 32 34 dollars uh so that's well worth it. And we'll get right into it. This watch, uh, the MSRP, I think it even has it on the box. You can see it right there. MSRP is $225. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm looking at this watch. This is every bit worth $225. This watch is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, I am so impressed by this watch, everything about it from the stitched leather strap to the fact that everything matches, right? Charles Hutton is engraved there. Fantastic design on the back. I mean, this isn't just um, stamped, right? This is machined, laser etched. Uh, it even has it on, on the strap. It's got it on there. And their MSRP is 225. 
I mean, this is this is truly a fantastic watch. I mean, an unbelievable deal. Like this watch, I'm telling you right now, I'm holding this watch. This watch feels, it feels like a four to $500 watch, right? And, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty good with uh, when I determine sort of, I mean, it's it's my opinion, obviously, but when I sort of look at these watches and I give sort of my my feel for what the watch is worth uh, based on the cost, this watch, this is a this watch sells brand new, full price, two twenty five, and yet here it it just it feels like a four hundred. I mean, if, if I was being completely honest, a four hundred dollar watch. This is what this feels like all day long. And I would really, truly feel like I was getting a good deal. Um, I really want you guys to see what this looks like. Uh, so I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a uh, screenshot or whatever, a zoom up of the face and put it up there. So I really want you to see how nice this looks in, in, in different lighting. Um, I kind of like the fact that uh, even though the hands are all attached, obviously, you know, in the, in the, the center shaft, uh, I think it's kind of neat how they have a little something on top of there. And that's actually, if you didn't know any better, I think it is. I don't think, I'll find out, but I don't think it's part of the, I don't think it's part of the movement. It's hard to tell, but if I can find out, it's either attached to the face or at the underside of the crystal, but I think it might actually be part of the movement. So, but I mean, just really a fabulous look to it. Let's see, it's, it's, it's not a screw down crown but still really, really nice. Um, it has 24 hour indicator. The six o'clock is the 24 hour indicator and you can see that below. So that, uh, you know, it, it, it kind of, it tells you obviously um, more or less what the military time would be. Um, at the nine o'clock location is the day of the week. So obviously it's Saturday, so there you are. And on the three o'clock location is the date of the week, also in a dial, which is very nice. Um, it's machine turned face with the name on there. Uh, just, man, I mean, I, what can I say? And, and it's, it's polished around the bezel and it is a flat crystal. It's a hardened mineral, mineral crystal, but it is sapphire coated three layers. Truly is a, a good solid, Mineral crystal, hard mineral crystal with the sapphire coating. Oh uh, gosh, I mean, this is just, I mean, I could go on all day. Like, why am I punishing myself? Like, why do I keep buying these watches? Because I can't get rid of this. I mean, this is a work of art. I mean, look at this. This thing is just unbelievable. This is a really nice watch. Um, what am I wearing? This is another one, uh, a pet pe pe or something. I, I can't, oh, whatever. But these are just really great watches. All right, I'm gonna get right into the, because I'm just like losing myself here. I'm gonna get right into the um, the measurements. 42, 22, and let's see, 12 and a half? 12, okay, 12, all right. And I'll do the lug to lug. Forty-four and a half, um, and it has good weight too. It really does. So it's it's not like a cheapy, cheapy watch. Seventy-four and a half. What else can I say about this? Uh, Hundred meter water resistance. I mean, you just can't go wrong. I mean, th this watch is just great all around. I, and, and I have to go back to the MSRP because normally every watch company totally inflates their MSRP. And this MSRP, 225. And you're getting this quality of a watch. And, 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 and I tell you, right, like I paid for this watch, right? I paid for this watch. They're not paying me to do this. Uh, they've never contacted me. As a matter of fact, I've only gotten like two emails from from watch manufacturers saying, hey, would you mind doing a, a, a video? And neither of them have actually sent me a watch yet. They said, yes. I was like, sure, send it to me. And they haven't done it. So nobody sent me anything from Charles Hutton. This is just all me. Um, yeah, I'm just so impressed. 
and I've got two others that I'm going to do too. This is this one I'm more impressed with, and it's actually the cheapest one, which is crazy. So, but you'll see. Um, this one's I think it's available in seven other colors. It's the blue. Uh, there's a gray, uh, and there's also a green one, uh, and then there's saw black, and then they have a brown and a beige, and I think a maroon, if I'm not mistaken. So, but really fantastic micro brand. Uh, it's just, it's unfair. Like I got too many watches, right? I mean, it's a nice problem to have, but what am I gonna do? All right, well, let me know what you guys think uh, if you like this watch, um, because I certainly do. And leave comments in the comment section. And you know what? I forgot to check to see if it has loom. Let's check that real quick. Oh my gosh. Okay. That deserves, that deserves me turning off the light. Does the awesomeness, the awesomeness of this watch ever end? I mean, just look at that. Seriously. That is just, just ridiculous. I, I can't, I, I really can't with myself on this thing. I mean, it's just perfect. This is a perfect watch. All right, well, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I think the bell does something, I don't know. Let me know. I have over a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate it, thank you guys. I don't know what that means for me. Uh, I don't think it means anything. This is still a massive <laughs> financial loss to me but I, I enjoy it. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.